Hey guys, welcome back to Working It With Miss Webb. And of course, I am Miss Webb. So if you watched my first two videos, we were learning how to build tens and ones, how to add tens and ones, and how to subtract tens and ones, okay? So when we added and subtracted, we only subtracted and added by multiples of 10. So now we're going to change that and add more tens, okay? So which is one multiple of 10. Now we're gonna have multiples of 10, if that makes sense. So for example, let's build an equation. Our first equation is gonna be, let's do a, a tricky one, 88 minus 40 equals blank. So now we're gonna take away multiples of 10. So the first thing we wanna do is always build our bigger number. Our bigger number is 88. Remember, when you're taking away, the bigger number always goes first. So let's build 88. So we need eight tens and eight ones. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make sure we have 88. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. All right, so 88 minus 40. Now, guys, we're going to take away 40. We're not gonna change the ones place, only the tens place because there's a zero here. There was a number there that would be different. So we're only gonna take away four tens. So I love to use these erasable sleeve protector sheets that I made for my students because they can easily erase. So you can teach your child to simply mark out one, two, three, four, or you can have them simply erase four tens, okay? So I like to just get them out the way. All right, so. Now, we have erased four tens. Let's see what we have left. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Or 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So we know that 88 minus 40 equals what? 48. Super cool job, guys. Good job. Remember, guys, this is a tens and ones chart, okay? So I'm going to show you a second strategy in a little bit. So now we're going to add. Okay, so let's clear our board. I'm going to make an equation. Let's just say 62 plus 30 equals blank. Now we're going to add a multiple, okay? All right, so first we're going to build our bigger number, 62. We need six tens and two ones. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Let's make sure we have 62. Let's count by tens and ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. Good job. So now, guys, we're going to add 30. We're not only going to add three tens because there's no number in the ones place. So let's add three tens. Remember, I like to add my new numbers underneath my previous so I can see what I did. All right, so I'm going to add three tens. One, two, three. Are we going to add any ones? Nope, because there are no ones in the ones place. So here's a cool little trick that I brought up in the last video. I like to count my tens and then my ones, okay? So let's get it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92. So we know that 62 plus 30 is what? 92. Good job, guys. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this out the way. I'm gonna teach us a second strategy. And the second strategy involves using a 120s chart. Super, 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 super easy. This one is super easy. It's a fan favorite by the kids because they like to get lazy and they don't have to show much work. So our previous equation, we'll go back to that one. 62 plus 30, okay? We'll do this one over. 62 plus 30. I'm gonna write that equation at the bottom. 62 plus 30. 30 equals blank. When I'm using my 120s chart, I like to always have the students write their equation at the bottom so they don't know what they're doing. So we're gonna first find the number 62 on our 120s chart, and there it is right there. And I always tell my friends to circle it so they know where they're going. Here's the fun thing about 120s chart. As you know, you're counting by tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So, Super cool. All you have to do is hop up to subtract and hop down to add because the numbers 
get bigger when you go down the 120s chart and the numbers get smaller when you go up. All right, so think of it this way, counting backwards, counting forward, jumping back, jumping forward. So all you have to do is jump. So we're adding three, three tens. So watch, 10, 20, 30. And we landed on the number 92. Do you see how easy that was? So you're just hopping up or down. So we're hopping by 10. So every time you go down a row, you're going 10 more. Okay, so let's try that again. 10, 20, 30. Started at 62, I hopped down three. As you can tell, the numbers go up by 10s. 72, 82, 92. So we know that 62 plus 30 equals what? 92. Good job. Now our first equation that we solve, the first subtraction equation, let's try that one again. Now we're gonna do a subtraction equation. So remember I said guys, whenever you are taking away using a 120 chart, you're gonna back it up. So just think of it that way. When you back up, your numbers get smaller. So let's try, um, I think it was 80, 88 minus 40. I think that was the first one. Doesn't matter either way. Getting the same thing done. So 88 minus 40. So the first thing we're going to do is what? Look for the number 88. And there it is. So I'm going to circle it so I don't get lost. Minus 40. Now, when you're taking away, you're backing it up. So back it on up. Back it on up. We're going to back up four tens, okay? Remember, there's no ones in the ones place, so we're not changing the one digit number. It's gonna be the same, so watch how cool this is. So, gotta back it up four times, count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. Where'd I land? 48, 48. So we know that 88 minus 40 equals 48. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. We practiced two strategies today, okay? So we practiced strategy number one, which was using our tens and twenties chart. We we'll practice strategy number two, which was using a hundred and twenties chart. I'll see you guys next time.